What's up, everybody? So, since we've been having a little bit of inventory problems, I've gone through and decided why not try to make our problems even worse. Today, we're going to be doing the mega grind, guys. We're going to be collecting an entire double chest of glowstone, an entire double chest of sand. No, wait, make it two. And two more chests of gravel, an, an entire chest of dirt, four chests of glass, one chest of wood, well, two chests of wood. Mind you, this is not going to be filled with wood planks, but wood logs, both of them. And to make matters a little worse, I decided why not throw in a couple bonus. A chest full of either charcoal or kelp blocks. Which is going to be really hard to get, by the way. <laughs> this is the worst chest of them all. And a chest of nether brick. Which we've already basically filled up. Just because <laughs> we had to dump all of our nether brick that we were smelting somewhere. Speaking of which, there's, there's some more still. So, yeah. Anyway, guys. We're going to be doing the super ultra mega grind. I hope you guys enjoy.
What's up, guys? How are you doing? We're back. <laughs> so that was just to give you guys a little bit of sense of scale. The other montages, the ones that took a couple hours to make, did not have anything on this one. This one was a solid 18 hours of recording split among like three different days because like, there's no way I could do it all in one day. And yeah, guys, we got so much stuff, so check it out. Obviously, this is not all glowstone, that would be insane. <laughs> so instead, it's just glowstone, quartz, and gas tears. I totally forgot about how hard it is to get glowstone. Um, sand, sand, glass. <laughs> this used to be gravel, but... I had so much extra glass by accident that I changed it to glass. Glass, 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 glass. Dirt, gravel, and did you think we forgot about wood? Of course we didn't. Wood. <laughs> wood. <laughs> yeah, not to mention, nether brick. And this one is the worst of them all. Look at all that kelp block. Oh, that's a lot. As well as a couple other things that we got. So mm -hmm. I was doing a little fishing because why not? Got a pretty decent book, some name tags, bone, um, um, another mending fishing rod, which doesn't help us that much. But if we get better enchantments than Lure 2 and Luck of the Sea 2, like if we get Luck of the Sea 3, could be better. Um, the main reason though. We're going to be using these puffer fish, and I'm sure you can kind of get an idea about why if you somehow were able to see all those montage panels. <laughs> if not, don't worry, we'll be going over it again. As well as the nether stuff that we got. Oh boy. So, all sorts of ridiculous horse armor and saddles. As well as... Dun 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 dun. <laughs> Wither. <laughs> So, yeah, we got really lucky, guys. I There's no other way to put it. We got two extra wither skulls during that. I mean, we were in the freaking fortresses for a while, so makes sense. Um, not really anything in here, but we actually had a little bit extra sand as well as, oh yeah, brought some flowers and stuff over from and apples from other journeys and there's still more stuff now the problem is like now you know how our inventory problems are pretty bad they're just like a little bit worse in general we have random wood sitting around random extra redstone dust sitting around random just randomness oh boy. we have been thrown into utter chaos especially up here there's tons of extra wood tons of saplings and Everything is filled to the max, guys. We, <laughs> it's time to do something. And boy, oh boy, have I got a plan for that. So first things first. We have to get, where is it? Yes, this helmet right here. And this helmet right here. <sighs> Excuse me. And combine the two. Oh, 20 levels, that's... That's a lot. And we're going to be renaming this bad boy. Oh, man, I didn't think this far ahead. Let's... Nah, le... Peed. Le peed. I don't really know why. <laughs> it just sounds like a name. Oh, snap. So now we got breathing underwater. Well, a lot better breathing underwater as well as mining blocks underwater. Two very, very helpful things for dealing with guardians. There we go, it's cobblestone. So I'm gonna build a couple of these and we don't have a place for them, that's okay. When we get the new base, we're gonna place these somewhere. We need some glass. Oh, that was easy. We have a lot of glass already, turns out. Thank you. 
and we've got loads of nether wart. We do need to set up a farm for it before we do like mass potion brewing, but like for now we're totally fine. We got plenty. Guardians have a lot of health and we want to kill them pretty quickly. Nope. That was almost a disaster. Okay, we're going to make one puffer fish or water breathing potion and one strength potion. All right, guys, and we're back. So now we've got our potions of strength and water breathing. We should be able to take on the monument. So I am so flipping glad that we've got all that grinding done. Yeah, it was a lot of work, and to be totally honest, it wasn't the most fun thing I've done. But now we've got so many more options. Like, if we want, we can just take control of this monument and literally make a base out of it now just thanks to the sheer amount of stuff that we have as well as like the, the fishing that gave us access to this the water breathing potions and stuff so yeah you guys ready let's just jump into it so let's try not to get too scared by the by the dude who's gonna give us the mining fatigue effect and if we can hurry and dig into here, that would save us some time. We just want to locate... Yep, there's one. Okay, let's go get him. There we go. He's mining fatigued. All we gotta do is take this guy down. Oh, well, he's just failing, so this isn't gonna be that hard. Got one. What? He didn't drop anything? Oh, he did. Uh, one wet sponge. I thought they dropped a couple. I guess it's kind of chance. Forgot we want to drink our strength potion too. Okay, let's take these guys down. We don't need to stop and fight every single one. But I did want to kill that guy because he looked at me funny. Okay. <laughs> Let's find the other two. So there are three Elder Guardians that we need to, to to eliminate before we can start clearing this thing out. Those are the big important things. We're just kind of searching for them. So we've got Strength Potion up and Water Breathing. Oh boy, there's a lot of dudes. So we've got about 24 minutes to find all three. If we don't by then, we will be in trouble. But the thing is, these potion monuments are kind of like a maze. So we're going to have to do our best to not get lost here. Nope, not over here. Um, we need to get up to the, to the higher layers somehow. But I'm not sure what our way of doing that would be. Um, it's not in here. This is a very mazy monument, that's for sure. Alright, so not this way. Aha! Number two. And our armor is just amazing. We can just tank all the hits in the world. Alright, that strength potion is doing work too. Okay, so we just got one dude left somewhere in the monument is he around here oh sponge room okay this is super good because we're gonna need sponges to clear out the room afterward this looks promising it's a way up okay take down that guardian this looks good this looks good is he around here somewhere the next question come on where are you, buddy? Hmm. Oh. Nope, not there. Oh, we got it, guys. Oh, yeah. It's really not that hard of a fight when you're fully equipped. You don't even have to care. And there we go. That's one whole monument cleared. 
look at that. We got prismarine crystals, prismarine chars, raw cod, three wet sponges, and now, once this mining fatigue wears off, we'll have access to the entire monument. No, we can do whatever we want with it. We've conquered it. I mean, assuming that the remaining guardians don't kill us. We can literally do whatever we want. I'm going to wait in here for the 38 seconds of the water breathing to wear off. And we are going to harvest all these sponges. Because I love sponges. They're going to be so useful for emptying out all the water. Like... <laughs> We can't even do this without the water empty being emptied. Oh yeah, check this out guys. Look at all these sponges. There might even be another sponge room in here. Ah, oh, check that out. Now another thing we need to find is our treasure, our buried treasure. And by that I do not mean all the sea lanterns, although I would not mind taking those as well. We need to find the flippin' gold, guys. That's what you do in every ocean monument. You defeat the overlords, and then you mine the treasure. Oh, there's a lot of these dudes here that look like they don't want me to do that, though. There's so many guardians here, jeez. This is going to be the, the best way to get XP and anything, really, in the future. Because you can get such a high spawn rate of these, of these dudes. They also drop food, which is good. <laughs> Because food is kind of annoying to, to get constantly. That being said, I do want to make some good food farms. It's not like I won't because we have this, but we're never going to really need to because of all these guardians. Okay, cool. So let's dig into here. Haha, -ha, our treasure awaits. That's right, guardians. I just stole your blocks of gold. What are you going to do about it? Probably nothing because I've got ridiculously powerful armor. Get that loot. Get those crystals. There's another one right over here, which is very close. So I think we got two potions. Or we got plenty of potions left. Let's just go do that one too. It'll be a huge exploration extraordinaire. Or something like that. Also, I love the sand on the on the bottom of the sea. It just looks so, be so much better than the gravel, in my opinion. Look at that. Beautiful. And are these tropical fish? And does looting work on tropical fish? Questions I need answered. Doesn't look like it, unfortunately. But they are tropical fish. Which is good. Because tropical fish are good. <laughs> My commentary is, is getting less and less interesting. I'm sorry, guys. Okay. Next one. Let's take these guys down. The guardians that have been boxing me in and applying mining fatigue to me when I'm trying to mine diamonds. It's time to get our revenge. Oh yeah, nobody does that to us. We're the superpower of this world. That made it sound that made me sound a little evil. Sorry, I'm not evil. But genuinely we do need to take these guys down. So let's get in. Alrighty. Alrighty. We got mining fatigue, good. That means there. There's there's guardians in here. We found the gold already, that's something. Um nobody down here. No one over here. Right? Didn't miss anything. Okay, so let's look investigate. We need to find the, the guardian boys. There's three of them somewhere. We gotta find all three felt like I saw something around here. Wow, this... <laughs> wow, this monument is... Um... A little weird. Not gonna lie. It is, in fact, very weird. Okay. So, where are we trying to go? Not actually sure. Because we... I haven't seen any monument guardians yet. Oh, wait. Haha. -ha. Got one. There you are, big boy. Let's take this guy down. So th these are the, the elder guardians, these guys. Um, Ethos Lab, in one of his series episodes, he actually caught one and like named it with a name tag and everything. 
and then just had it like on one of his um, fields. It was like just a, a fun little thing that's really unique in it, about his world. And I think doing something like that would be super fun and super hilarious. But also, Ethos already kind of done it, so it's just it'd basically just be me ripping off one of his ideas, which I don't really want to do. Cause I like Ethos Lab. I mean, not that you guys would watch me and not Etho, but like, I'm pretty sure you you know who Etho is if you're watching me, cause he's way more big than me. So it's not like I'm like worried about like stealing his idea or whatever. But I don't want to be. I mean, I wouldn't mind being Etho 2.0. Etho is freaking great. It's just a massive compliment. But that being said, I do want to come up with some of my own kind of fun ideas. And it's difficult to do that if I'm just like, oh, I should just copy Etho again. You know what I mean? So, I... Oh, here we go. Whoa. That guy was flashing. Guardian number two. Why don't they ever attack? They're just like scared. Also, I noticed that these Elder Guardians don't really have thorns. Whereas the little dudes do. Very interesting. Alright, where is the last one? Sometimes you can get two Guardians pretty quickly and then the last guy takes forever to find. Let's keep exploring around. Where is this last dude? Where did he go? Or where was he since the start, I guess. Probably a better way to phrase it. Probably this way. Oh. Oh. I think that was him. Or maybe it wasn't. Maybe it was this guy. Oh, I feel like he's somewhere around here. Oh my goodness. I'm just getting lost. Maj majorly lost. Okay. We gotta, we gotta find him som somewhere. Calm down. Eat some rotten flesh. And let's oh oh <laughs> nope <laughs> that looks like a bad idea to me I don't know about you guys but I'm not particularly interested in being blasted to death okay so I know where that's gonna go we don't need to go there a second time what's up here have I been up here before um evidently yes but yeah I have been okay dang Drowned zombie, what are you doing here? Oh! There he is. Um, I don't actually know where this is. I just kind of was exploring. And here he is. He's at like the top section. Cool. So we actually got him. Alright guys, so that's two for two. Taking down these monument guardians. <laughs> I swear. There's, they're so derpy. If you got really good gear, they're just kind of a joke. The fight's really not that hard. If the fight, if you're having trouble with guardians, my advice, just get a little bit more prepared. <laughs> oh no, how long do you have fatigue for? Too long. Are we going to be able to mine this? No, we're not. Let's find the exit. Because I don't really want to use another water breathing potion unless we really have to. Actually, there's gold in here. Maybe we should. Hmm. I do love me some treasure. Alright, how did I get here again? <laughs> so he was up, up there. And... Where did I come from? Where did I go? Where did I come from? Cotton Eye Joe. Somewhere around here. This looks better. Yep. Mm, maybe no. Maybe yep. Yes. Oh! So he was somewhere in this wing. Cool. I actually totally got lost then. Okay, so... Good news is, we can probably get it out of here in time. Bad news is, hopefully we don't get shot to a billion pieces. Nice. So, that's two monuments that have now been discovered and completely cleared out. Well, not. Depends on what your definition of that is, obviously. We've defeated the guardians in, in charge. The men with the plans. Or women, I guess. Doesn't Could be either. Doesn't really matter. We defeated them, guys. So, this episode, we got so much grinding done, as well as we actually killed off a couple of these guardian overlords. Um, I hope you guys found it fun. 
If you have any feedback for me or things I should have done differently, le let me know in the comments below. Drop a like if you liked. Um, if you didn't like, then drop a dislike, but hopefully you liked. If you didn't like and you did d dislike, then please leave a comment telling me why um, so that I can try to make the content better for you guys in the future. Anyway, we got a lot of stuff that we're going to be doing, and I actually got a lot of stuff to do in real life, so I'm going to have to call it there for today. I hope you guys enjoyed, and thank you so much for watching. Thank you.